family. I am Robert Signator Senior, principal of Glen Oaks Magnet High School. I have about 30 years of educational experience. Uh, I've been from assistant principal all the way to a classroom teacher. It's the vision of Glen Oaks High School to establish a strong relationship with students and parents to create a family atmosphere of trust, support, and high expectations for academic achievement. We are looking forward to this year and looking forward to the growth of Glen Oaks Magnet High School. Sit back and relax and enjoy our orientation. Thank you. Greetings, Panthers and the Glen Oaks Magnet High School family and middle school family. I am Councilwoman Erica Green for District 5, your Councilwoman. And I'm sitting on site at your school because I just had a great meeting with your principal, Robert Signator, and his staff. And we have so many great things coming to this school. But I also want to share with you, whether you're virtual or in person, that this is going to be a great school year and we're excited to have you. But we also have some resources in our district that you should be aware of including the Charles R. Kelly Community Center, which is located at 3535 Raleigh Street, is our community center. And at that center, we offer an on-site emergency food pantry, computer lab and Wi-Fi hotspot, and a social service representative. And we want you to utilize our community center. If you need help, please call us at 225-389-4831. Also, I have a nonprofit called Imagination Leads, where we promote literacy, culture, and mentorship. And I have had a partnership with Glen Oaks Middle School for the past two years, and we're continuing that partnership this year. And so we will be providing literacy options and cultural field trips for you. So if you want to be involved with that, please let your principal know that you want to be a part of the mentorship program, which is for young people young black women. So I wanted to just stop by and encourage you for this school year and to say, have a great day. I'm praying for you and your family. Good morning, Glen Oaks. I'm Mavis Lewis with the Office of Child Welfare and Attendance. And I just want to let you know, we've got to stay connected. So parents, let's get plugged in. You see here, I'm ready. I have my portable plug in today. Let's plug in to our ABCs. A, attendance, attire parents. We've got to make sure that our children are dressed for success, even though they're at home. Yes, home is the new spot for education. B, have breakfast. And remember, your behavior is of the utmost concern and see that classroom spot. Yes, we're home, but we are still working. Classroom, attire, breakfast, all of those are good alphabets for success. Stay plugged in, you gotta get plugged in. Student supplies, communication skills, application of your skills, and test. Remember parents, this is our new way of doing school. Now, if you want to really be connected, child welfare and attendance is going to keep you charged up. There's going to be daily reporting of attendance. We're going to be reviewing those records, family needs assessments, and parents, please, 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 if you change your telephone number, your address, please let us know because we may want to do a wellness check to keep your child what? Yes, connected and charged up. Now, parents, you know, Clorox, that's a big thing nowadays. Clean your act up, get involved with your children, monitor the total child. Accurate reporting is of the utmost. When your child is absent from their seat at the homeschool venue, please let us know and have documentation. Parents, the gloves have been requested. They are the helping hands. To reach out to the resources, Child Welfare and Attendance is here to serve, to give you all of the resources to keep your child engaged. And yes, I have on the face shield, I have my 
of my paisley mask. I have my polka dots. I even have a Glen Oaks High School mask. We want to stay safe. Vitamins, distance learning, disinfect, clean up, clean up, get charged up because we want to exchange this mask for the cap and gown at the end of the year. Success. Parents, don't keep your distance of vital information. Let us know. Let the attendance clerk know. Let your guidance counselors know. Let the administrative team know. When you are disconnected, stay plugged in to our new education. Our destination is still graduation at the mighty GO. Be it virtual, be it hybrid, be it face-to-face. -face, we need each other to make it work. Stay plugged in. We are the GO connection. Success. Plug in to teachers. Parents, you've got to stay plugged in to the teachers. Teachers are going to stay plugged in to one another so we can service your child. And I'm your girl. I'm your CWA. If you don't have any connections, just know I'm going to be calling. I'm going to be doing those drive-by home visits. And I am searching hard and heavy day and night to get additional community services for you. I want to plug in to that internet service that you may need. I want to plug in to help you get more food, shelter, mentoring programs. We want to stay connected. You know here at the Mighty GO, graduation is the destination. So just know, remember three letters, CWA. That's the only way. Success is what we are plugging in. So stay connected, plug in, don't be disconnected, stay charged and plugged in for a successful year. Whatever we have to do to help you, we are here. Thank you and enjoy the educational new style. Good morning, Panther families. My name is Dion McCurry and I'll be serving as the assistant principal of the middle school. We'd like to welcome you back for our 2020-2021 school year. Although we've had some major changes in how we educate students, there is one constant thing. We are committed to your students' academic progress. This year, the middle school will continue to offer an academic robust curriculum, but we have several new opportunities for our students, including Jobs Across America's graduates, a full middle school ROTC, a full dance program, physical education for our sixth through eighth grade students, as well as digital media and several STEM electives. We are so excited to have your students back both virtually and in person, and we look forward to having a Pantherific school year. Welcome back, Panthers. Hello, it's nice to meet you. My name is Damian Gordon, Assistant Principal of Instruction with a focus on technology for Glen Oaks Magnet High School. Our high school schedule this year will be unlike last year. Unlike last year when you took four classes every other day, this year you will take four classes every day for 90 minutes. This will allow students to receive four full unit credits at the end of each semester. In January, high school students will receive four brand new classes and repeat the process. Students and parents, we need everyone to understand that due to this change, it's going to be so very important to attend class regularly each day. We know the challenges that everyone is facing, but even more importantly, it's going to be so important to stay plugged in and to exercise great communication between the home and the school. Basically, students, you will be completing one year's worth of work in a semester, 18 weeks. I know we can do this if we stay together. Students, I am Glen Oaks. Go Geo. Hello, and welcome to Glen Oaks High School. My name is Angela McKay, where I am the executive secretary here. This year, this year we have some Exciting new features here at Glen Oaks High School where we have the new online payment system where you can go now and pay your fees online. 
This year we have a new mandatory registration fee of just $20. That will include a re reusable Glen Oaks face mask, two student IDs, and one set of headphones. Also we have set up on the website right now is your PE uniform fee um, for the amount of $25, which will be $10 for the PE shirt and $15 for the PE shorts. The site will be constantly updated this year where we will be adding new fees. This is a new website, so please keep checking back frequently. There will be junior fees added to the website sometime this year and also senior fees will be added to the website this year. We invite you to the website of www.glenoakshigh.com where you can, if you just click on the link and if you go under payments and shop, the, the fees will automatically be there for you. Also, make sure that you put your student's name and the student's ID under the description box so I will know exactly the student that you are paying for. You, you are also invited to come into our school office where we'll be glad to take your payment here in the front office. This is a new system we have this year. We are excited about it and we're happy for this upcoming school year. Thank you for choosing Glen Oaks as your high school destination and we look forward to serving your students this year. Go GO! Hello, my name is Diamond Bell and I'm the high school counselor servicing students with last names A through L and Ms. Rashawn Johnson is the school counselor for students with last names M through Z. The goal of the school counseling department is to facilitate student development in the following areas. Develop positive attitudes towards school, learning, community, and society. Acquire and practice problem solving, decision making, and coping skills. Identify personal abilities, skills, interests, and motivation. Explore traditional and non-traditional occupations. Develop awareness of the importance of personal responsibility, good work habits, and effort. We look forward to seeing you all Friday for orientation. We will be the second to last table. At our table, you will receive a copy of your schedule as well as an informational flyer. On that flyer, there will be QR codes that will allow you to schedule requests to meet with a counselor and also any schedule changes. We look forward to working with all the students and parents. Hi everyone, my name is Erin Andy. I'm the School Librarian and Site Technology Facilitator at Glen Oaks Magnet High School. And um, I am one of the people who is in charge of distributing the Chromebooks to you this year. This video is just a brief introduction to how we're gonna do that. So uh, what you need to know for Thursday and Friday kind of depends on where you are in terms of already having a Chromebook and charger. So my first group of students I wanna talk to are my returning Panthers from Glen Oaks Magnet High School who are already carrying a Chromebook and charger that was issued by this school. You guys already have the device that you're going to need to use this year. We are asking that you bring it during your uh, grade level orientation session this Thursday and Friday, just so that it can be checked and uh, made sure that it's good to go. But other than that, you're good. Uh, my next group of students that I want to speak to are those who, for whatever reason, do not currently have a Chromebook and charger. You will be getting one from me at orientation. Um, I am one of the stations that you will go to. I will be at the library circulation desk and I will issue the Chromebook and the charger through the library catalog system for the district. Okay, so I will be, you know, formally checking it out to you. If you have not already signed the district handbook and technology policy, then I'll have a copy for you to sign at that point. After that, you'll be good to go with your Chromebook. Last but certainly not least are my students who, um, for a variety of reasons, might have a Chromebook and charger but that Chromebook and charger was not issued to you by Glen Oaks Magnet High School. Any Chromebook that is not issued from me needs to be returned as soon as possible. Per district policy, um, Chromebooks, are, Chromebooks and chargers are inventory to the school that distributed them to you, and they need to be returned so that they can formally check them in and take them off your account. I cannot accept your Chromebook and charger because I will not be able to take it off your account appropriately. Now, after you've done that, of course, you still will need a Chromebook and charger, but you will get one through me um, at student orientation. And same thing, you'll show up at the library circulation desk and you'll fill out the uh, agreement and I'll issue it to you through the catalog. 
Okay. Now, if at any point, either before orientation or after orientation, you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact me. Uh, remember, my name is Erin Anding, and my email address is emurray, that's E-M-U-R-R-A-Y, at ebrschools.org. Um, I hope that takes care of everything, and have a wonderful year. Thank you so much. Welcome, Panther family. I am Dr. Candy Tompkins, and I'm the Magnuside Coordinator here at Glen Oaks High School. The vision of our Magna program is to engage students in a rigorous curriculum that is focused on college and career readiness, as well as provide our students with opportunities to explore medical, allied health sciences, and broadcasting professions, all while fostering an environment for self-discovery. One of the ways that we're able to provide opportunities for our students is through partnerships. For example, our partnership with Baton Rouge General will allow us to provide our students with job shadowing, mentorships program, as well as internship opportunities. In our magnet program, we have four pathways. We have our medical magnet, which is our academic magnet. What that means is students have to meet certain eligibility requirements in order to be a part of that program. Those requirements are a 2.5 GPA for the last four semesters, and a basic or above in English and math on the most recent standardized exams, such as the LEAP. Students in our medical magnet are able to obtain industry-based certifications. For example, they can get certified in CPR, they can become certified nursing assistant or patient care technician, or an emergency medical responder. The remaining three programs will fall under our center of excellence. We have our health science, our sports medicine, which also can lead to certifications in CPR and EMR, and our radio broadcasting program. Our students within our radio broadcasting program operate the school's radio station, GO Radio 66.5. If you have not already, please tune in. Although our Center of Excellence pathways do not have any interest requirements, once the students are in the program, they must maintain a 2.5 GPA. In addition to our high quality instruction, one of the goals of our magnet program is to build the skill set of our students. Some of the ways we do this is by providing students opportunities for hands on experiments, such as in our health science classes are teaching students how to demonstrate life-saving skills within our medical classrooms. One of the things we're proud of here at Glen Oaks High School is our technology. Our medical and health science students are able to utilize virtual reality software. So for example, if they are exploring the human body, they can go in, take the heart off of the screen and actually look inside the heart to see how it operates. We are currently still accepting magnet applications. Our magnet application period will end on August the 7th. If you are interested in applying, please visit ebrmagnet.org or email me at ktompkins at ebrschools.org. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Mahomes. I'm a senior Army instructor here at Glen Oaks High School. My assistant instructor is Sergeant First Class Miller, who you see here on the picture below me. I just want to basically give you some highlights about the JROTC program. Our mission is to motivate young people to be better citizens. We expect our cadets to set standards for others. You know, if you're going to be a part of JROTC, you know, that's a privilege, and we expect you, you know, to be different. You know, Glen Oaks Magnet High School is proud to have a strong Army JROTC program that is deeply embedded in the community. One of the things we want to highlight is the program values. One is character. You know, it's very important to uh, exemplify good character, you know, as a cadet because you're wearing the uniform and when people see you on campus, first thing they think about is the military. So character is very important. Student of achievement. We are very proud to have students in ROTC because we know that most students who excel in ROTC generally excel other, in other areas on campus. They're normally do or had it. They may be president of the senior class, president of the junior class. Because normally if they do well in ROTC, they're doing well across the campus. Fitness is very important. That's one of the things we stress, you know, people need to be in shape. Leadership, this whole program is about leadership. So we're going to be focused on helping develop 
the leadership traits that each one of these cadets have. Teamwork, you know, everything is very important to be able to work as a team. The military stresses that when you go to a job, you gotta be a team player, that's very important with us. Personal and social responsibility. We expect our cadets, you know, to be behave, not get, to have discipline problems, be able to get along with other students, you know, really set the example like I mentioned earlier. And lastly, selfless service to the community and others. We are very involved in the community, so that's very important as part of the ROTC curriculum. So we expect our students to be involved as well. Now, to learn more about the benefits of participating in ROTC, you can go to the U.S. Army JROTC program. And I look forward to having a great year. I'm Alicia Dito, the Athletic Director and Head Girls Basketball Coach. I would like to welcome you to Glen Oaks Magnet High School. I hope you will embrace the privilege of participating in our competitive sports program. Our athletic department has a professional coaching staff that takes pride in both preserving and promoting the welfare of each student athlete. The staff is mindful of the tremendous influence a coach has on an athlete and is committed to instilling the highest ideas and character traits in our students. There are a few regulations and procedures of our athletic program, as well as those of East Baton Rouge Parish School System and the Louisiana High School Athletic Association that governs athletics for both middle and high school athletes. All extra activities must meet the minimum grade point average of a 1.5. Incoming seventh, eighth, and ninth graders are automatically eligible once they establish eligibility in a high school setting. For a student to be ruled eligible for the second semester of the school year, he or she must pass at least 75% of the subjects taken during the first semester. Once a seventh or eighth grade student gains high school eligibility to participate in sports, if they decide to transfer to another middle school, they will lose eligibility. Athletic participation package and forms will be provided by all head coaches and athletic directors. Here are some of our high school athletic programs, football, volleyball, baseball, and softball, boys and girls basketball, boys and girls bowling, boys and girls cross country and track and field, wrestling, powerlifting, and cheerleading. Those are for students grades seventh through 12th. Middle school athletic programs, boys basketball, boys and girls track and field, and cheerleading. cheerleading. Those grades are six through eight. Thank you for your time and we look forward forward for your participation in Glen Oaks Magnet High School Athletic Program. Hi everyone, it's nice to meet you. My name is Dr. Rory Ross and I am the ESS lead teacher here at Glen Oaks Magnet High School. To parents of ESS students, even though we have moved to a virtual learning environment, it is still mandatory that your child or student have an up-to-date individual education plan and up-to-date evaluation. Although we ended school abruptly in the spring for COVID, IEPs that were conducted during that time can be picked up for your information and for your records. For questions or to schedule an appointment or meeting, please contact me at rros2 at evrschools.org or by phone at 225-366-9561 or 225-356-4306. Don't forget, we are here to support you. Oh